What's up guys, welcome back to the Beyond Canary Zone for the match reaction for the UV Roma game 1-1. Uh, before we get into it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. And yeah, let's get into that result. Um, I'm going to start chrono chronological and start with the good news first. That first half was much, much better. Basically, it starts with the lineup again. Not everything was perfect, but we saw Miretti in that lineup, and I think nobody believes. If somebody told you Miretti was going to start yesterday, everybody was like, what? Really? Allegri did that. I don't think he had a choice, because Mikani, all those players had a shot. Sakaria, and they didn't perform. Uh, so Miretti got a shot, and he was, I'm going to say he was very, very good in that first half. Like, he was actually good in that first half, and people were asking oh, against a better opponent Roma is a better opponent he dominated that first half in midfield on top of that Locatelli could play more freely and you can see that like his goal got disallowed but he was up there constantly in that first half you know making runs making uh, passes picking up that ball uh, so that was very good that was the first thing in that first half the second thing what we were missing compared to last week was energy intensity actually the willingness to go out there and do something you know and that's what that first half was like it was energy with some quality especially in that midfield with Miretti and Locatelli because they were very very good like they they were dominating uh the press was very good in that first half the only thing Roma could do was hit that long ball and that was very easy for Danilo and Bremer so that first half was very solid the only thing missing in that first half <coughs> excuse me was the second goal and i'm not going to sit here and say we had open chances like oh, a shitload of open chances we had opportunities we messed up with a final ball and i'm going to start with quadrado because he's not playing well he didn't play well again he's very undecisive on on the ball in key moments in key areas where maybe two seasons ago you were, you know, on the edge of your seat saying, this is going to be something. This season, and even last season, <laughs> he's very undecisive on that <coughs> right wing side, up top. And it's kind of costing us because he makes wrong decisions and it's frustrating. On the other side, in that first half, the link up, Kostic at with Miretti was very good, in my opinion. <coughs> Kostic can cross, but I think I feel today two things he's not on the same page yet with Flavic which is weird because they play together in Serbia <clears throat> but he isn't because I feel he puts that cross in the box way too uh, early like most of the time Flavic is not even in position so that's something they need to work on obviously um, but it came on those sides like that's where things kind of went wrong in that first half um, I think we should have scored we should have put that game to bed because we were on top we had the press, we had the energy consistently for 45 minutes. We were the better side. We were the better side over 90 minutes. But I'm gonna talk about the second half. But in that first half, I think you lost. You should have won that game. I think in the in the first half we dro already dropped the two points, in my opinion. <coughs> because I knew we were not gonna keep it up in the second half. Just because why? Like that was already a, like a shock effect compared to the Sampdoria game. And again, like the Sampdoria game was very, the bar was on the floor, like even beneath the floor in the basement, basically. But that energy, you, you can basically feel it. we're not going to keep it up in the second half, which is kind of fine, you know, but we didn't even control that game in the second half. Uh, we came out, I'm not going to say like we were still on top in my opinion, but we were not as dominate, dominated dominant excuse me as in that first half and you you can feel that a little bit like but there was no roma danger i, I was calm like at no point in that 90 minutes did i feel roma are gonna score here because they were toothless they weren't good you know they were actually very poor in my opinion <coughs> so i never had that feeling they're gonna score um we were very sloppy in that second half. You can see, like, uh, the first few minutes, uh, I think the Chilio, Sandro give away the, uh, the ball away, like, very easy. And at that moment, I was like, oh, it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna be the same as in the first half. You basically can feel it. <coughs> um, 
and kind of got worse the moment we progressed in those you know in that second half and up to the point where I think was a key moment the Rabiot injury he never gets injured picks up an injury needs to leave that field Zakaria comes on I think at that point Locatelli was kind of isolated back in his regista position like he wasn't <clears throat> breaking the lines advancing with the ball without the ball and I think that really hurts us you know in progressing that ball putting the pressure on Roma it did hurt us uh, because I, th I thought Rabiot was doing an excellent job of what was asked about of him to do Zakaria <coughs> yeah Zakaria I mean in a well oiled machine he comes in he can do a job but in a team with so many question marks so you can see like technically he's not that he's not like he's not that great like you could he could pick up excuse me he had a lot of space on that right hand side but he couldn't pick up that pass because he just technically can't and that was frustrating because <clears throat> it was kind of holding us back in my opinion um but that's what it is in that second half basically uh everybody took a, a dip in my opinion um and then yeah <clears throat> we conceded it and actually actually out of nowhere a corner and i'm gonna put a little blame on sandro because and you can argue oh it wasn't his fault and i, I can't agree with you but <clears throat> how many excuse me <clears throat> my voice how many times on the channel did we speak about alexandro and that second post and maybe this was this was a shit corner like nine out of ten times that ball just goes out but again like it's it's call it coincidence is alexandro at a second post ball covering over the stop and he has no idea what's happening in behind him now i'm not gonna say it's 100 percent uh, rabbi uh, excuse me alexandro's fault like he jumps also where I'm like really just you know you you're not gonna get that ball you just take a few steps back but it's just like coincident whatever is Alexandro back post <clears throat> have no idea where that ball is going over stop have no idea someone is in his back it is what it is and we can see it. we can see it and there was absolutely no danger from Roma for 90 minutes and we can see one one and we dropped another two points that's four points dropped in games we should have won uh going into the roma game i wasn't confident but looking at the way roma were playing and we were playing the second half it's two points drop you should have won that game you should have won against sandoria like because they are bad it's already four points drop i think we won one of our last seven games including last season maybe i'm wrong maybe it's less uh but five out of nine points it's not great like let's be honest it's it's not good it's actually not really okay if you have ambition now if you have seven out of nine and you drop points against roma <coughs> i can live with it you know it's early in the season I'm like okay but four points drop five out of nine is for me it's not it's not very positive in my opinion knowing in the back of my mind having that sandoria game in my back of my mind and that second half against roma <coughs> because last season we had first halves where you're like oh amazing energy that's good second half disappeared again I, I had the same feeling today but not to that extent to last season but i can i really call it progress like that's baby steps that's not what i'm looking for uh so i don't know um i don't actually know like i'm disappointed uh we dropped another point and i don't think that's good enough five points out of nine i don't want to be extremely negative because against Sampdoria I think they deserve absolutely stake all of them but I don't want to really praise them today because we dropped points against a, against a team that were completely toothless and we couldn't get managed to get it over the line and that's worrying um, because we've seen it last season also like I said we, we, last season we played good first half and second half you're like what happened where is where has that first half team gone you know so it's an issue i think we play on wednesday away to spezia is it i think it's a way to spezia on wednesday i'm not sure <clears throat> a bit confused but like next game i think it's a way to spezia not an easy game you should beat spezia but it's not an easy game away to spezia i know we will struggle because those grounds for some reason we struggle in those grounds and i don't know can we 
replicate that first half away from home and put the team to bat, you know, and cruise through that second half. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's see on, I think, Wednesday. But um, you, you need to win the next game. Like, it's already four points dropped three games into the season. That's not the start. Uh, we need it. We want it. If you have ambition to win that title, we should have had more points, in my opinion, <clears throat> considering the teams we played. But it is what it is. Uh, there were some improvements, but overall, just I did, disappointed, uh, to be honest, um, <clears throat> because I think we should have won that game. Um, and yeah, um, still a lot of question marks. I'm positive Miretti. I think he should start from now, <clears throat> from now on until whatever. If Pogba comes back and Paredes comes in, let's see what will happen. <coughs> we play a lot of games, so there will be subs. But like he should be ahead of Mikani, Zakaria. Like there's no question at this point because he can play technically. He can control a ball. He knows where to put that ball. He's very calm, composed. And Mikani and Zakaria are not that. But let's see. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Two points drop in my opinion. Maybe you say no, it's a point one. Let me... Let me know what went well, what didn't went well. Um, I just want to mention Vlaovic in that first half <coughs> really quickly because he was excellent in that first half. Like he was moving around, he was being strong, winning duels, winning the ball, hold up, linking up play. In the second half, he dropped away like in the entire team basically. And that's an issue. That's not player related, that's squad related. That They need to sort that out because we have seen that so many times last season. But it was a good game for him, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, we will see you guys in the next video or live. Thanks for watching and ciao.